Yo, what's up y'all? How's everyone doing? Today, we'll be eating Korean crispy, cheesy hot dogs. Just sing into me. <laughs> so, I believe ketchup, mustard, cheese sauce, sweet and sour, parmesan, cheese powder, butter powder, which is very interesting. So the, the cashier was really nice. I told him about the video, so he hooked me up with all the sauces and kind of told me how to eat it a little bit. And especially he told me this one's very overwhelming. Oh, yeah. Smells straight butter. Whew. It smells a little... Yeah, definitely cheesy. Whew. I got a ball up in my nose. Parmesan. I mean, can't go wrong. Yep, sweet and sour. Not much of a taste of this one. Okay. So this is the black squid ink with mozzarella cheese. And the, the kind cashier told me that there's a sugar powder that you're supposed to dip with all of them. I've never tried it, so I wasn't sure. So I kind of asked them to do half and half. So all of them have a little bit of sugar here and then plain on the other side. So there's a lot of variations, as you guys can see, with, um, uh, <laughs> with all the sauces. And now I got regular side and sugar side. I got the original with no cheese. I'm slightly lactose guys, so cheese really hurts me in the end. So I think I can only do with one cheese hot dog. But then you got the sugar side and the regular side. We can't do this video without the potato dog. We'll start with the squid ink. Um, I'll do a non-sugar since the tip doesn't really have sugar. Um, let's just go by itself. All right, all right, you guys ready for the first hit? I didn't get a cheese pull with this one. I don't think there's enough cheese for a pull, but it's good. It's really light. Definitely tastes the crust. It's like a bread panko crust. You can see the, um, the squid ink in there. And the hot dog kind of like hidden inside. Um, okay, let's do... This. Cheese sauce looks really interesting. I kind of want to try this. Um, let's go regular side. They add a lot of flavor. I'm gonna try it again with the with the um, sugar side. I'll drizzle it on. <clears throat> mm. Maybe because I taste the sweetness of the sugar and the squid ink. I think the squid ink is a little sweet. I do taste a little sweetness in there. Okay. So that's done. Let's try the original. No, actually, let's try this. I kind of want to try to get a good cheese pool if I can. Um, let's do this one by itself as well. Mm -hmm. No cheese pool. But that was really good. Oh my god. We like potatoes and like doughy. The fried potato taste and the sugar really good. The sugar really goes well with this. Wow. 
I have a feeling ketchup would do well. Sorry for ketchup. Mm. Mm, no. <laughs> I think I waited too long. And the cheese kind of isn't as melty. The cheese sauce is very light and it's a little sweet. Hi right, guys, let's try this original one. Since I have an idea of what the crust tastes like and what a hot dog tastes like, let's try this butter powder that the cashier was talking about. Very interesting. Oh. See, it's powdered up. Wow. It's really strong. It's like a deep, heavy umami like sweetness to it. He said some people replace this with the with the sugar powder, but I'd rather stick with this. There's something lighter, so you can incorporate all the other sauces and dips, so it's not so overwhelming. All right, send some more on this one. Let's see the sweet and sour. Push it up. I don't want to shoot it out of the stick. Okay. Whoa. That would've been interesting though. All right, try the sweet and sour with this. I feel like this would be good. Sweet and sour. That's good. The sauces, the sauces incorporate with the crust really, really well. And a little bit of cheese aligning it. <sighs> Alright, let's um, <clears throat> finish up the squidding. So far, I think my favorite is the squid ink. I don't know why. There's like that something with the ink and the crust outside. I know the ink adds like a certain flavor to it, like a certain sweetness that I like. Mmm. Let's try this powder. It's very interesting. The cheese powder. I guess got a good amount of cheese on that. That cheese powder. I see. This one definitely adds a level of saltiness to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cheese is usually salty, so go figure. Mm-hmm. Let's eat that with my hands. <laughs> Let's do, let's do an All-American. <clears throat> Some mustard. And I'll do it on the non-sugar side because I don't think that's a very American thing to do. Let's put sugar on a corn dog. <laughs> Winner say so? I ain't got nothing on this. <laughs> that is bomb. If you guys want like an all-American, like a step up from our, any other corn dog with like a really good batter that's nice and crispy and is like not very overwhelming. Like I feel like most hot corn dogs, because they can't eat too much of it because of the dough. But this one, boy, that is bomb. 
Alright, I gotta try it again with um with the sugar. Who cares? Let's see. Ooh. <laughs> I guess I like it because this tastes very familiar compared to everything, but it's still good. It's just very familiar to me. I want to say the sugar offsets the ketchup and the mustard a little bit because you know sweet versus kind of salty hangy and it leaves a very like kind of a little sweet note at the end yeah, that's good <clears throat> Um, uh, let's do parmesan. Let's do parmesan with um, the non sugar side for the potato. Man, this is just a cheese stick. I'm a little disappointed that I couldn't get a pull out of this. Oh well. Alright, guys. Mm -mm. And keep trying. Next time, I'm gonna microwave it <laughs> before videoing, before recording. But the potato is really good. Like, really good. Like, if you give me a bowl of these with just like ketchup, I'll eat it with a spoon. For real. Okay. Ah, getting a little full. Squid ink. Mm. Okay. What have I done? Haven't I? I haven't done this one with. I don't remember. Let's do some parmesan with this. Let's see. Do. Uh, I'll do this one side. Do Parmesan with the sugary side. Let's see how that goes. <clears throat> Parmesan, sugary side, going in. Don't do that. That was weird. The sweetness of the doughy of the squid ink didn't really go well with the uh, What's this again? Parmesan. If I call it mozzarella, I'm sorry. This is mozzarella. This is Parmesan. Uh, I got a couple more bites left in me. Let's do one more potato. Stretch it out. Actually, I'm gonna take out the stick. I'm a big kid. I like to eat with my fingers sometimes. <clears throat> so we'll do the cheese sauce on top of the mozzarella stick. Cheese on cheese on cheese. Well, I said cheese three times, so I gotta do another one. Uh, let's do, let's do the cheese powder. Ah, oh, shit. Um, I mean, oh, oh crap. Let me, I'll just dip it. Okay. So I got the mozzarella cheese, the cheese sauce, and then the cheese powder on top. <laughs> Don't do that either. Wow. That's too salty. Whoa. That was tough to take down. I needed this to help. Whoa. Uh -oh. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that either. And if you guys notice, I'm staying away from sweet and sour because y'all already know what that is. I think it's weird. I'm going to go back to my All-American. I'll finish off with that since that was, I think, my favorite one. 
And I think I had a Costco hot dog not too long ago. So it was just kind of bringing me back to that. Alright guys, ready for the last bite. I'm so full. Good note to leave off of. Oh, my face wasn't so crusty. <laughs> I'm so full. guys that's it for today uh thank you for joining me for dinner if you guys enjoyed the video please drop a like comment down below for anything you liked or you didn't like um please subscribe if you guys haven't yet that would mean the world to me share if you can i'm still trying to reach 100 subscribers by the end of this month so i have my name on my own url for youtube you know so i can feel like i have my own channel so if you guys could i'll be much appreciated and until next time peace out